What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you all here in the kitchen with me. Sorrel, Christmas, goes together like ham and cheese. But this time we're not doing a sorrel drink. We're doing a sorrel jelly. Stay tuned. You're going to love this one Christmas morning. You have your hard dough bread or your plat bread or your hops bread. A little bit of this jelly on there. Mama, yo, things out. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. In a nice big pot, we're gonna go in with all the dried sorrel. Then one stick of cinnamon. We need some orange in there. And that is just the way I like doing things. You can squeeze the orange as I'm about to do here. You just hit that a little squeeze. And that is just one orange. Make sure you wash that orange before you put it into the pot though. And we also need some ginger. I have here about two, four, six, Let's do six cloves and we're going to grate in some nutmeg. Then we're going to top it up with water and that is 10 cups of water that I'm putting in there. What you want to do now is put the heat on, bring it up to a boil and then we're going to reduce it to a simmer. If you're wondering, the full list of ingredients will be listed down in the description of the video and the step-by-step recipe will also be posted as we normally do on CaribbeanPod.com. The dried sorrel, that was 100 grams of dried sorrel. It's come up to a boil now. It took about three, four minutes to come up to a boil. Just going to give it a quick stir. That lovely color from the sorrel is already coming up because it's rehydrating. It rehydrates pretty quickly. But what I want to do here now is intensify all those flavors there. So we're going to cook this for about 30 minutes and reduce it by quite a bit because I want it to really have that pronounced sorrel taste when we're done. Turn the heat down to low and let that simmer away. It's been simmering away there now for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to turn the stove off allow it to cool down and we got to strain it all we want after from here going forward is the liquid but i'm going to allow it to cool down because just for safety reasons i don't want to play around with screeching hot stuff like that you know and here you can see where i strained it all off and this is the liquid that we're left with here so what we're going to do now is reduce that further because i wanted more concentrated but what we're going to do here also is add the sugar at this point and later on we can adjust the sugar a little bit more. Yeah, I know you're thinking, wow, that's a lot of sugar, but it is a jelly that we're making. So it does require quite a bit of sugar as it comes back up to a boil. I'm just working it with my whisk now and that's going to help that sugar to melt and dissolve. I just added a bit more sugar to the mix here. Just gonna move it around a little bit more. I kid you not, this kitchen is smelling so good, man. It takes me right back to being a boy, a young fella on the islands, Christmas time, sore it was the thing, yeah? I have about four cups of that uh, juice that we made there, that sort of concentrate that we made there, and I went in with four cups of sugar. You can taste it at this point and see if you need more sugar. I'm trying to cut back on the amount of sugar I use, so that's where I'm at right now. A slight adjustment, I went in with a further half cup of sugar. I tasted it, and I know for a fact it needed a bit more. So, four cups of liquid, four and a half cups of sugar, but most likely you will need some more. So, do taste it. I'm gonna go in with some fresh lemon juice. Just about a tablespoon or so of that. And that is to help control the acidity, the pH, so it will last longer and prevent, uh, prevent it from going bad fast. And then finally, we're gonna go in with the pectin. And I'm just gonna add a bit at a time, give that a mixy mix. Thank you. 
I just turned up my heat and I just want this to go for about one or two minutes we're just going to continue stirring it and then we're going to shut the heat off and your jelly is pretty much done you want to have those sterilized containers waiting to pour it into So it's been going for about a minute and a half since I added the pectin in here. This is gonna, I'm gonna turn my heat off. Let me just show you, you guys the little tester. I don't know how good the lighting is, but we're gonna let this set up now, yeah? A couple of housekeeping tips before we finish off the video here today. Um, I am cutting back on sugar, as I mentioned. Typically, for that four cups of um, the juice that we had there, that sort of concentrate that we made, you would need close to six cups of sugar. Um, the other thing is you want to store them in sterilized containers and that's what I have here. Third thing, put a little ribbon on there and stuff like that. Great Christmas present. Now it's only been about 30 minutes since I took it off the stove there, but you will see it's starting to, to set, it's starting to get nice and thick. Chrissier Caribbean pot that come it will get a lot thicker than that I assure you as soon as it cools down it will get to the consistency of jelly Chrissier Caribbean pot that come always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me we made some sorrel jelly and don't forget stay tuned we're gonna have that jelly that <laughs> that sorrel cheesecake coming up pretty soon I don't know if I can give you guys another little just look at that now, like I said, it's still runny, but it is starting to take shape.